I'm Kim and I am here today with the Isle of Cats. Don't forget the kittens Kickstarter. This is the big box and I pretty much backed all in for this. So I already had the original Isle of Cats from their first Kickstarter which had the Kickstarter exclusives. So inside of this box I should have the kittens pack, the beasts pack, and the boats pack as well as the big box. And to just give you guys an idea of exactly how big this is, I grabbed the wingspan. <laughs> Wingspan is a pretty uh, common game at this point. Most people know the box size. So as you can see, um, it's a little bit taller than two wingspans. So this is indeed a very big box. We have the front, side art, back art. Flip through all the sides here. This boy is heavy. Okay, so let's start opening it. I was expecting to get in like three separate boxes, one for beasts, one for kittens, one for boats, unless all those boxes are inside here. So I'm not entirely sure if they just took the content out of the boxes or if I'm going to find boxes inside of this box. Um, one other thing I wanted to note because I see a lot about this online is, you know, the corner of my box came in a little bit crushed right here. And a lot of people complain online and say, well, I paid so much money for this. But honestly, it's a box. It still holds it. It's to me not worth, you know, trying to bother the manufacturer to get you an absolutely perfect box. Shipping mistakes happen. It's just a little ding. So I am perfectly okay with that little ding. Okay, let me lean this up as we open it. Nice. Heavy boy. Okay. Oh, so I do have the actual other boxes inside of my box. So on top is, I'm assuming this is the Kickstarter exclusives for this one. I have got the geez, kitten and beast box, the boat pack, and now Placement card, so apparently something was shipped wrong in the box originally. And then down here in the bottom, I have the oh, the wooden insert. This is my first ever wooden insert. Oh, and here again on the inside of the box, I don't know if I can get that on the camera, there is some, you know, like damage to the wall from where the wooden insert scraped it. Again, I don't mm -hmm. consider this to be something to write back to the manufacturer and complain about, you know. It's just a little nick. It's going to hold my game fine. It's going to do its job. This is a beautifully heavy, thick box. The lid still has the Resiquit target to place your cat in the lid. I've got a nice picture of how this box insert goes together. I may try to build this <laughs> on a separate video. We'll see how ambitious I am feeling. Um, there's the wooden pieces. There's even a cool cat head. That's going to be the edge on one of the box panels. Okay, and so then, I like that there's minimal plastic on this. There was just plastic on the outside. These are inside with no plastic. So let's open up the boat pack first. Okay, we have more little boat cards. I love that they added these to the game. This was uh, one of my friend's biggest complaints is that she could never tell the boat rooms. And that has a nice little guide there. And the rest of this box literally just contains the boats. So let's take a look at one. So looks like we've got family and yeah, we've got family and standard mode on each side. So that's nice. I was wondering if there would be a family side boat with the same scoring differences and everything to play with the new boats on family mode or regular mode. So down, another boat. This boat's really neat. This one has a water wheel in the middle. Um, oh, interesting. These are not the same on both sides. So this boat has a water wheel on this side for the family mode. And on this side, it has a different boat shape. So not all of them. Okay, and then, okay. So there's two 
the family mode and the advanced mode are on two different boards there, and then two matching boards here. So we do have all the different shapes in both family and advanced. They just weren't on back to back on the boards, which kind of surprises me. But there we go with that. So that is the new boat. I am really excited to give these a try. Um, since I have definitely fallen into the habit of I start my boat in the same exact place every single time and I fill in the same exact direction every single time. So this is going to really switch things up for me and force me to go with a different strategy. Okay, next up, kittens and beasts. Okay, rule book, family mode instructions. Oh, these guys are so pretty. I'm really excited for these kittens as well. Get this open. Okay, I'm just gonna dump this all out. Okay. Oh, we have new bags. Okay, I didn't realize that. There's three. Uh, not entirely sure what goes in these bags yet. One's probably kittens. One's probably beasts. I don't know what the third bag would be for. We've got some new plastic baggies to organize. We have new lesson pads, which has beasts added on to it, so a new scoring line on the lesson pad. We have the regular baggie of beasts that would come in the normal edition, and then of course the very first thing on top of my box was the screen printed beast meeples which come with the Kickstarter edition. We have got, let's see, I haven't read the rules for all these expansions yet, but I can at least show this panel which is the new really pretty beasts that there. They are super pretty. Uh, I got some more beasts on this board and then I think these numbers are for the new um, their goal cards that each round you set a goal out that affects everyone. Um, there's the board to place baby cats for standard mode and then family mode on the back. More scoring tiles. I don't know what these purple baskets are for and they have a four boots on back so that's going to be something I'm going to have to read the rules on. And just some more baby kittens and a beast there as well. So that is everything that was inside of the box. Um, the only other thing in the bonus pack for Kickstarter is some additional cat tiles. And then you can see screen printed meeples. Which let's pull one out and look at them really quick. So we've got, I don't even know what these are. <laughs> I probably can't not see my camera really well, so this is probably not very beneficial. But okay, that was everything in the Isle of Cats full Kickstarter all in, except for the draw, roll and write, draw and write game, since I don't plan to play that one. Okay, I now have everything put together and loaded into my big box for the Isle of Cats. Um, this now is so freaking heavy, it's going to sit on the very bottom of my shelf, because I don't want to even risk putting this onto a shelf. So the rule books um, fit right on top. When you open it up, you see we've got, oh god, I can't lift it. Ugh. We've got the um, bag of all the cats here. So I'll just take that off the top. On the sides here, we have two boxes to hold the deck cards. Now, my deck is unsleeved. So if you have a sleeved deck, the assumption would be that both of these boxes will be needed to hold your deck. If your deck, if your game is unsleeved like mine is, you're going to find that you only need one of these boxes and you still have a lot of space. So for those of you that purchased additional big cat meeples, um, you can use this extra empty box to just store extra meeples in here. Uh, this box was the nightmare to build. Um, get all these little cat heads aligned and pushed into these holes to put this together. This holds each of your expansions in a, the, the lettered expansion separately. Get this on camera here, here we go. The lettered expansions are all separate here. Um, for those of you that have missed this in the rules, you're always supposed to have three of these packs mixed into your game at one time. So right now, A, B, and C are mixed into my game. The rest are in here, and if I wanted to swap them, I would just pull A, B, C out and pick a different three packs to mix in. Um, five to six are the cards for five to six player games. One are the solo cards and eight plus are the family cards. And then this, 
Then these cards here didn't have a spot. These are the cards for people that are um, colorblind. So, but there is a little gap here in the front of the box that's unlabeled. So I just dropped mine into that gap there. And everything fits nicely. Again, this is designed to hold sleeved cards. So I do have a lot of extra space along the top of this. And my cards fit very loosely in here due to the lack of sleeves. It almost makes me want to sleeve the cards just to make sure that they sit tighter and, tighter and don't kind of flop around, but we'll see. Um, this little box right here sits right on top of this corner, and this is to hold the boat, the pencil, and I have some miscellaneous cat meeples that didn't fit other places. You've got your fish holder and your baskets. I have both the cardboard and the wooden fish meeples mixed into here. This corner box pulls out. I'll show you that in a second. We have got the cat meeples. Now, because I have the big size cat meeples, not all of these fit perfectly into here. Um, the small cat meeples are what I have shoved into that extra deck box since I don't have sleeved cards. And even some of these don't fit directly in, which is why I had these here, because it's intended to have six of these, plus one as a player marker. So I've just kind of shoved things into extra places. Underneath that, we have got the items from the new expansion with the, the goals and the rats. On the other side, we have our holder for the treasures. I haven't, well, I guess you're not supposed to technically supposed to leave this one out on the board because you're supposed to take out a number of treasures per player. So I think some of these might be hard to get out if they fall in here slotted deeply. But again, you're supposed to take these out based on player accounts. So really this one shouldn't be on your table during playing. There are some Oshacks here. I was really confused why there is a dip right here in this lid, but it's because there is an Oshacks tile that is super long. So the one specific Oshacks tile hangs over this. In my case, I would just keep that Oshax into the bag and not put him into this box. We then have a bag for all of the kitten tiles, a bag for all of the goal tiles, and a bag for all of the beast tiles. Oop. So all of these sit right on top of the rule books, the other boards, and then both types of boats. So I've got the original game boats in here plus the boats pack. So let's throw this all back in now. So we got fish in the corner. We've got cats in the other corner. Nope, that's wrong. Goals go in the other corner. Cats go on top of the goals. Treasures go on top of the fish. Oh, I didn't show you this one. So then this corner box has got the beast meeples. Now, I'm not in love with this box because the lid is kind of hard to get off and I've kind of already like torn the corner of it a bit. But here are the beast meeples. I think in my case, I am going to switch the beast meeples to just being inside of this box and put the meeples I don't really use inside of the extra beast meeples box. But if you do use this, this lid slots onto here very tightly. Okay, that slides back into the corner. Cards, I drop the treasure into here. Cards go on top here, which fits a line to the top of the box. And then these two deck boxes fit facing the wall to keep the cards inside. And again, no sleeves, so I feel like they're flopping in there quite a bit. And then I just kind of layer all of my baggies onto the bottom. This little guy goes back into this top corner post. This, it was a little bit hard the first time I put this away to kind of get all the cats to kind of lay flat in this baggie to make sure that they are laying there nice and squished. Rule books on top. And we have a nice flat close. And that is the Isle of Cats big box.